This little bean has conquered the world. Every day we drink more than 1.5 billion cups of coffee worldwide. Coffee is among the most traded commodities and of major economic relevance for many coffee exporting countries. Over 125 million people worldwide depend on coffee production for their livelihood. This little bean truly is of local and global importance. However, this coffee bean is threatened. Climate change endangers coffee production and with it the livelihood of millions of families. Let's see why. Coffee ecosystems need stable environments but are increasingly under threat because of rising temperatures and unstable and extreme weather conditions such as heavy rain, gusty winds and prolonged dry seasons. Let's look at a few examples of how climate change influences coffee production and what measures should be taken. In Vietnam, irrigation water is crucial for coffee production, but as dry seasons are getting longer and more intense, water is becoming scarce. As the water table decreases, farmers have to spend more time and money on irrigation. Otherwise, they'd suffer drastic reductions in harvest and quality. But there are strategies to reduce this risk. Through adapted irrigation management, farmers can preserve their coffee yields. And by doing this, they can reduce water usage by 30%. They save real money through reduced production costs while being friendlier to the environment. Another example. The Trifinio region in Central America has been suffering more frequently from heavy storms and longer periods of rain. Communities have to cope more often with landslides, erosion, and infrastructure damage, endangering the existence of many coffee plantations. In this case, afforestation or reforestation significantly helps prevent major damage in the future. Forests help avoid erosion and landslides. At the same time, they have positive impacts on the groundwater table and local biodiversity. Trees can also serve as windbreaks. In Brazil, they're used to protect young coffee plants from being destroyed by too much wind. As climate forecasts predict even stronger winds in the decades to come, the immediate seeding of new windbreaks becomes an effective measure to conserve young trees and prevent erosion. In the southern region of Tanzania, Farmers are already experiencing decreasing rainfalls and extended dry seasons. This leads to an increase of flower abortion and decreasing availability of nutrients for coffee plants. Cover crops and mulching have proven to be effective adaptation measures. They conserve moisture, regulate temperature, and return organic material and nutrients to the soil. <clears throat> now it is important to spread the word about effective adaptation measures. Coffee farmers need to know. It is time to take action and to adjust practices to make coffee farming future safe. The Initiative for Coffee and Climate has developed a comprehensive approach to climate change adaptation. Besides the farmers themselves, extension services and other stakeholders working with farmers play a major role in this process. They support assessing present and future risks, raising awareness, identifying and implementing adequate adaptation options, monitoring and evaluating adaptation options, and disseminating results. The Initiative for Coffee and Climate has been compiling different experiences from around the globe into the C&C toolbox. This toolbox contains practical hands-on tools, best practices, and case studies from the field. It provides training material to support extension services and other stakeholders in assisting farmers to adapt to changing climate conditions. One toolbox, many reliable solutions. The C&C Toolbox. 